Hello there, mortals. I am Yinsen, and welcome back to the live stream of our law hunting in... Un no, not Undertale. It's the, uh, it's the other one. Deltarune. Uh, we just finished Taskmaster. We have gone ahead and killed Birdly. I don't know where this is going to lead us, but I hope it's not somewhere good. Okay, I know how to beat this area as well. We just got to kind of, like, skirt around the shadows, which is not that difficult, honestly. If you think about it, it's not that hard. Okay, what's all the way up here? Can't seem to find your Discord. It's in any of the uh, videos that I've posted. I could probably put it in the uh, description of this of this live as well. That probably would be a good idea. I'll do that after I end the next episode, which is going to be an hour away. Okay, we've got one of these fart... Actually, this guy isn't hooked up anymore. Where were wire? Where were wire? This is a different mob. He's different. They're usually hooked up to the ceiling and they're huffing farts from the ceiling, aren't they? But now they're... Now they're monstrous? Oh my god! Oh! He's got jazz hands for days! Oh my god. Actually, I'm going to swap sides as well so you can see uh, what's going on over here. So we are going to do a bunch of fights. We'll fight and Susie doesn't have enough for a rude buster. Relsi is just going to fight. Boom, boom, boom. We got the crit on Relsi right there. Okay. This is really tricky. Oh, 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 oh. That is hard. That is a real hard one to dodge. That is so, so hard. Relsi's almost dead, which we don't necessarily care about because that's just part of the course. Let's go ahead and use a rude buster on this bastard and we will fight with Relsi. Boom! 287, that was a good hit right there. Okay, we can't take another hit because Relsi will die again. Whoa! Oh no! Relsi's dead. I wonder why they keep targeting Relsi. I wonder. May oh, maybe it's because the people who are real in this instance, the people who are actually like playing the game of the Dark World would not want themselves to die first, which is why they seem to prioritize uh, who I assume to be Chris's imaginary friend. All right, let's go ahead and attack. Susie uses a rude buster. And Relsi is dead. Relsi is dead, that's absolutely fine. Oh, we got the crit on Chris. Very cash money. All right, what the hell is going on? No! Oh, that's, that's a rough one. I've never seen that one before. Susie's got two health. Ah, well, uh, she'll use a Rude Buster again, and he's got 11 HP, so this might actually be the last one right here. Okay, good. We won. Relsi actually just increased his health as well. Okay. Are there any saves around here? Yes! There actually is a save around here. Okay, we'll go ahead and save this. So, we need to get back to the start, right? We need to get back to the start so we can get rid of the rules card hell is that sound and only by getting rid of the rules card out of our pocket will we uh be able to access that area the rules card is blocking off uh, huh hey Zay, this is noelle's room chris let's go in and save her and uh you know did you not get in our way chris fine i'll do it myself chris don't you wonder how they're doing in there? Um, I said, don't you wonder how Noelle and Susie are doing? Y you're right, Chris. It's only been 30 seconds. Oh, wait a minute first. What's gonna happen? Oh, okay. All right, let's go. Uh, huh? What? Wait, what? Wait, where are we supposed to... Hey, let's go! Wait, wait, Susie. What, um, happened in there? What do you mean, what happened? Um, in there, with Noel. Nothing. N nothing? Nothing at all? Just told her everything is a dream. Now she's feeling better. Anything else? No, and let's go. Psst. I'll tell you later, Chris. Hey! Oh well, as long as Susie's happy, right? I feel like Susie's getting a little bit jealous of Relsi, and that's why uh, she kind of like goes along with him being here. I also think that Susie may have just uh, gotten lucky, maybe got to second base. Found to put the game request there if you play it or watch the entire thing. Yeah, you'll you'll see it, you'll see it. I'm gonna be streaming, I've got a plan by the way. I'll be streaming every single weekday 
and uploading a bunch of uh, really, really good edits on, on the weekends. Okay, uh, let's wait for that one to go through, and we'll come up here. I'm actually going to go this way next, and I'm going to wait for that to pass, and I'll go up again. Okay, we've cleared this area without taking a single hit, which i got to say is probably very impressive, right? Wait, is this the queen fight? If this is the queen fight, I'm probably going to reload a save, just so I can kill everybody before we encounter the queen. Okay! 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 I just figured out what the fountains are, by the way. It's trauma. The night! The roaring night! Today, it deigned to create this world. Reaching its long hand to the sky, it coursed its will into its blade and made... thrusting the fountain from the earth! Unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness, we might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized this power, this power of the will, this power of determination. This is not something that all lightners possess. If one was simply determined enough, could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the night has taken its leave, then I will simply make a new one. I still feel like it's trauma. I still feel like the fountains are trauma. Delta Traveler's genocide route, which they call it obliteration, made me feel more airy than any genocide of Snagrave. Okay, wonderful. Still empty-handed in my quest. Noelle is in no condition to assist me now. She must rest. And Bird Boy, I searched for him for ages, but my senses cannot detect him anywhere. I think we bullied him out of the library. I, I think that's pretty much what happened to him. How thoughtful of you two to come help me. Chris, Susie. Which one of you wants to be the new knight? Get out of our way! Noelle needs to wake up! Wake? No, she has already awakened too much. Let her close her eyes and slip away. Into a darker, darker dream. I hope to hell that's not like a self-harm reference. Whoa -ho 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 -ho. Now, which one of you wants to help me cover this world in darkness? Queen, why? Why do you want to unleash the roaring so much? What is that? Um, the roaring. Yeah, that. What is that? If too much darkness is released, titans will emerge from the fountain and destroy everything. All darkness will turn into statues, and all lightners will be lost in eternal chaos. <laughs> Holy circuits, are you serious? You really didn't know that? No. Well, my plans are shot. My one idea to help Noel failed. Go ahead, Chris, seal the fountain. I will not stay in your way any longer. You haven't been in our way at all, lady. You haven't been an antagonist at all. Uh, hey, hey, wait. You don't have to. I mean, uh, it doesn't have to be goodbye, you know. Error, I have no idea what you're talking about. We have our own dark world. You can stay there, you know. Who knows, maybe someday you'll even get to meet Noel again. Really? Uh, maybe. Fatal exception, sweet, in ohellyeah.exe. Susie, I knew you were a nice girl. Hey, uh, I'm just... Chris, go seal the fountain. I... I'm gonna go see Noelle before you do. Um, Chris, I'll tell Queen about our town. Chris, I look forward to being your wacky roommate. Weird. Weird. I feel like our dark world is kind of like just a collection of memories. I don't think any- I still don't see anything that would indicate that any of this happened. It's a machine that sells pre-fountain refreshments. One bagel is 120 bucks. Buy? Hell yeah, thank you. I see eBay bagel was added to your items. I'm gonna buy a bunch of them, actually. I'm gonna buy another one, and then I'm gonna buy one more. Good, and I'm gonna leave two slots free because the guy just said to do that. All right, let's go. Who is in here? Who is usurped the queen? It's just us. I think Susie was with us last time. 
It was as if your very soul was glowing. Not? Well, that's not very nice. Let me say! Let me say thanks! Thanks to your total jackass stunts, I have become Neo! Which is uh, and, and, uh, one of those um, long words I keep forgetting for one. And now it's my mansion! My city! My world! So why are you stealing the fountain? To piss me over right at the good part. What are you, a game show host? Ah, kid, forget it. I'm an honest man. I'll let you pay your way out of this one. Pay. With your life. Ah, yep, okay. <laughs> dun, 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 All right, let's fight him. Uh, I think we want to kill him, don't we? We want to kill him now? Do we want to kill him or spare him? I think we want to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Okay, spammed in one. Boom! One swing, 208. That's pretty damn good. I remember when you were just a lost little sponge. Sleeping at the bottom of a dumpster. Okay. Oh, poos! I didn't realize that they were going to attack us. Oh, my days! I am so unprepared for this. Hold and release B to fire a big shot. Okay, fine. Uh, we will attack Spam to Neo again. We've already taken away 4% of his HP. We're doing pretty good. I gave you everything I had! My life advice! I told you four left and asked you buy or don't buy. Yep, that's pretty much what I encountered, definitely. Okay, oh, he's actually spamming. All right, let's try not to hit the actual spam. Let's try to be a little bit more... A little bit more strategic with how we play this, because we've almost died. Murder? If you get enough toilet paper, there's an act that lets you deal lots of damage. Oh, that heals you a bunch. Okay. Is there? Uh, act on Spamton. Is it fried peepees? <laughs> fried peepees! <laughs> oh, okay. I've, I've just recovered with peepees. I gave you my commemorative ring for the prize of my favorite year. Favorite year? Commemorative ring, I think he had the crown of thorns, right? The Jesus -y crown of thorns, which would probably suggest to me that he either looted Jesus's IRL body or he took it off of Jesus in heaven. Gotta love that fried peepees. I do love the fried peepees. I see what you mean by it's an egg now. Okay, we'll get a big one out. Oh, we took one. That's fine. We absolutely whipped one of those. We'll do only big shots, I think. No, let's treat it like a machine gun. No. Okay, we did it. Spamton turns to the audience and laughs. What audience? <laughs> what is he talking about? All right, let's fight him. We've already got 10% of his HP down. Ah, nice crit. And this is how you repay me! Treating me like DLC! I don't think we can attack him this one, right? No. It's for you! No, not peepees! Peepees are firing at us. Oh, we have to destroy the peepees. Damn, that is rough, actually. Oh my god, that is tough. That is a tough fight. If you have toilet paper and decent health, using each slash, touch a bunch of his health. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna continue. I'm not giving up. We are gonna we are gonna fight and kill Spampton probably in this one episode right here. Okie dokie! We one run his uh his normal form. Why did I just save? Uh, we do have everything we need, don't we? Like, our equipment's fine. No, it's not. We actually want a better weapon. We want this here Mecha Saber, which is a little bit annoying. Annoying? Does that have anything to do with the annoying dog, which represents Toby, which I am kind of inserting as God in this instance? Because he's the developer of the game. I'm assuming so. Okay, uh, white rib we don't have any armors. Okay, so now that we've changed that, I'm actually going to save so we don't forget to do it again. And we're going to go up, and we're going to try and scam Spamton. It is nice that it saves the fact that you've heard all of this dialogue already. <laughs> ah, 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 that's what you sound like, Spamton, you dick. Oh, crit, nice. 224, that's pretty good. I remember when you were just a lost little sponge, sleeping at the bottom of a dumpster. Ah, uh, this one's tricky, actually. No, it's not. It's not that tricky at all, honestly. It's pretty good. It's pretty easy. It's an easy phase. We can get around that one easy. Uh, let's go ahead and fight Spamton Neo with a crit. Nice. 
I gave you everything I had! My life and voice! I, uh, told you buy or don't buy! I am a twit! I am an absolute twit! Look at how my twitness works! I'm such a twit! More like twitten, am I right? Okay, good. Nailed that one. Uh, let's go ahead and do an act if we can. We will use the X slash. Could be good. Whoa, that's powerful, actually. I gave you my crown of thorns for the price of 1997. Okay, this one is actually easier when you treat his head like, uh, kind of like a machine gun. You try and, you try and black his, his face as if we've got a Glock 18 for a soul, which I actually like as my head cannon. You can destroy his peepees in one hit with big shots. <laughs> uh, okay, well, aim for his peepees more. <laughs> I love saying that. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and fight. Spam to Nero. Boom! Oh, missed that crit. Very close, though. And this is how you repay me! Treating me like DLC! All right, let's go ahead and charge this one up. What? What? Are you serious? It's for you! So these are his peepees, right? Good. I'm just going to fire peepees. Let's fire peepees. Let's go ahead and blow all of his peepees up. Wow! Oh my god, look at that! That was so lucky, I didn't even have to move. Okay, we'll go ahead and... Well, the X slash, I think. We'll use our items to heal, and we'll use all of our toilet paper to slash, I think. No, I get it! It's you and that hoochie mama! You've been making, haven't you? Yes, I most... Oh, he's talking about, um... Uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Toriel! Toriel! Talking about Toriel! Okay, good. Whoa, I think we only took one hit in that instance. Spamton appeals to the audience with a festive jig. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, we'll go ahead and fight this one, and then we'll use a item on the next move, I think. You've been making hyperlink blocks, and now that you have your own supply, you don't need me! Okay, we're going to, uh, again, do a, a big set of attacks on his face with the machine gun for... Oh, piss. We, took, we didn't have to take that one, but we did. When he says Hochi Mummy, he's speaking of Noel. Is that confirmed anywhere? Or is that is that speculation and hearsay? Because I haven't seen anything to confirm this. All right, let's go ahead. I think we're getting the hang of him, right? We're getting the hang of him. We haven't been fighting him for long, and already we're pretty good at half of his moveset. I don't remember what health uh, rating we got him down to in that last fight, though. Okay, let's go ahead and fight. Boom! Okay, one slash right there, right on his peepees. He remembers when we were just a lost little sponge. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Okay, we'll slip those, uh, and we'll probably slip those. Good. Wonderful. Now let's go ahead and uh, fight him again. Boom! Oh! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Didn't, didn't get that crit. He gave us everything, apparently. Okay. Look at me! I am such a twit! My twitness knows no bounds! I am the twittiest twit of all! Okay, we'll go ahead and do the big attack, I think. X slash. He speaks a bit in later dialogue. Okay. Boom, boom! Good. I gave you my commemorative ring. Okay, yep, wonderful. Uh, we'll, we'll get the old Glock 18 to his to his soul. Take this! Suck the marvels of modern engineering, Spamton! Suck firearm! Your penis! Your big smelly penis! Your big smelly peepees! Okay, we're gonna do an attack on him. Oh! Oh, we got the crit! Nice! We got toilet paper there, too. Okay, good. So, I think the trick for this one is just to continuously fire these gigantic balls. It is actually working! Because they seem to slow down right as they're about to hit something. Oh, booze, that one actually hit us real hard, too. Okay, let's target them a little bit better. Oh, no, we got hit on that one. Let's use an item right here. We'll use a club. No, we'll use a CD bagel right here. We'll use a CD bagel on ourselves. Oh, full health. Okay, wonderful. What are we dealing with now? Just Spamton being a, a bit of an ass hat. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. All right, he's, he's firing Wi-Fi at us. Who's? Okay, he hit us with our wife with his Wi-Fi. <laughs> Alright, we got him down to 73% HP so far. Good, good, good. We gotta like, we gotta mash this, right? Oh, we didn't have to take that one, but we did. Oh, we didn't have to take that one either. Okay, we take one more, I think we did. There we go, we did. I didn't even have a chance to look at our HP. Big shots, not actually very good. I they're only really useful for that PP's phase. I feel like we should just not use the big shots ever. 
I feel like we should just treat the, uh, treat our soul like a machine gun. I think that's the way. <laughs> right, Jevil 2. Let's fight. Okay, uh, we'll do an attack. Boom. Uh, we got the crit on that one. That face attack sucks. It's, it's doable. That's the thing. It's, it's doable. Wee! Wee! I'm slipping! <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and fight Spam to Neo. Boom. I don't think I got any toilet paper for that. He gave us everything. This fave, I feel, is a bit of a freebie. Honestly, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's, it's not that hard at all. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and do the X slash on him. Boom, boom. Couple of 279s right to his face. Wonderful. Okay, uh, this one is the... It's not hard. It's not a hard one. We just got to kind of dodge and also mash the uh, Glock 18 button. Come here, you big bastard. Take my nine mils right to your dome. Right to your face. Right to your ugly, ugly face. There we go. We killed his face. Let's go ahead and use the X slash on him again. Wonderful. And what's next? This is the PPs. We're going to be doing the PPs now. Okay. We're going to just fire a bunch of these orbs. I feel like... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Actually, I know how to dodge them. I've just figured it out. No, they trace you! That is rough! Okay, that is real rough, actually. They... I feel like they kind of, like, track where you are. You call them an A-hat, but you say you don't cuss. What are your swearing standards? Ah, uh, swearing's fun to do and not to hear. Those are my standards. Simple as that. No, there are some swears that, like, aren't swears. Like, this isn't really a swear. <laughs> If anyone says that piss is a swear, then chances are they've never been to New Zealand or Australia. Uh, let's go ahead and use another CD bagel. But like any of the hard cusses, I won't use. All right, that's a really rough one, that one. All right, gotta hide in that corner, okay. We gotta take out the mouth first. The mouth has to go here. Let's continue. I'm not, I'm not deterred, I'm not deterred. We're gonna keep on doing this until we finally get that Spamton down to the level he deserves. Down here with us mortals. <laughs> right, doing some laughing. It'd be nice if we could skip the laughing phase though. Nguyen, genocide? Yes! Yes, we're doing genocide. Uh, well, I mean like, you could say we're doing genocide, but I think this guy is an angel. Okay, good. Uh, let's slip these ones, we'll attack these ones. And we'll attack these ones, and I think we'll slip these ones. Good, wonderful. Let's go ahead and fight Spantoneo with a big nasty crit to the balls. Sorry, peepees. You don't want to hear that beautiful laugh? I have heard that beautiful laugh, and all it's doing is mocking me. <laughs> Alright, good, good, easy. Easy clap. This one's a gimme. This one's such a gimme. Wonderful, and another triple right to the face. There we go, good. Let's go ahead and do a big X slash on him. Good. We'll do a big Zorro slash. He gave us his commemorative uh, crown of thorns from when he was there at the crucifixion with his popcorn. <laughs> you know, as you do at the fall of Rome. Good. We got rid of his uh, soul for now. Let's go ahead and fight him. Get on. We probably could have done an X slash right there, but I chose not to. All right. The, we're going to have to actually aim this one, I think. It's for you. Peepees. Okay, uh, let's do the big, the big shot. Uh, this isn't good. Oh my god, no. Oh, actually, we had iframes for a second there, which is awesome. Damn it. Uh, we're with them. We're with them like crazy. Can we just shoot the faces out of the way? That big shot is good for the first attack. Peepees. Thank you, Nguyen. They are peepees. We are slashing as peepees. In fact, to commemorate, let's slash them in the peepees right there. Double peepee slash. With our toilet paper. Okay, good. And now we are fighting. Ah, so this has knockback, right? The big attacks have knockback. We just have to kind of dodge these. We didn't dodge it. It does have knockback, though, so he can't get closer if we just use that. Message retracted. Nguyen, this is all being recorded, buddy. <laughs> it's all going on YouTube. Just don't, like, dox yourself and you'll be fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll open with just a normal attack. Boom. Slash. 
We just need to get better as attacks, I think. We don't really need to get better at anything else. Okay, we'll attack these. Wonderful. Wonderful. We could probably use the balls for toilet paper generation, but I don't actually think it's necessary. Okay, so if we get him 20 times, we end the fight. Because I don't know if anyone can uh, see, but his health right here is at 96%, which means a crit takes away 4% of his health. Which is actually really good information to have. So this is the second. Good. Second phase. I'm. I, we got to remember what phases we're attacking at. Okay, this is third phase. So if we do an X slash, but we didn't though. We just did a basic attack. Whoops. All right. Let's go ahead and treat his face like we're holding the Glock again. Rock out with the Glock out. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Soul goes. Excellent. We've taken out his soul. Your chat thing on the stream is hella delayed. Yeah, but it's not in my eyes, so it's absolutely fine. Have I played Undertale? No. No, I have not. Not yet. I'm going to be getting to it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a double slash. This should take us to five attacks. So he should be at 80% health now, mathematically. We're playing the numbers game. We're actually playing the numbers game. Although, in saying that, we also haven't... Uh, we haven't taken a hit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see if it just goes through the faces. Uh, not really. Okay, let's just go ahead and do the attacks. Uh, we took that one right to the dome. Gonna fire that one, and no. We don't have a choice but to kind of, like, dodge around those faces. We'll use a CD bagel right here. And we'll get past whatever this phase is. This is the, uh... He's a bit of a crush on this one. All right, we took that one, unfortunately. We didn't really want to, but we did. Almost took that second one, too. Delta Traveler won't make any sense if you haven't played both games, so recommend Undertale first. I will be playing Undertale. That is the next game I'm going to get to un after this one. And I know how long it is, so I'm going to probably do the whole thing in one run. Let's go ahead and do an X-Slash if we can. All right, I didn't see how much health he had, but we kind of need to really dodge everything in this one, right? Yeah, we do. I'm going to do a bunch of nasty attacks, I think. The big filthies. Oh, Poose, we took one. Uh, good. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we took that one. Right. We took his mouth out, though. We actually took his mouth out. Game over. We might be seeing the screen a few times, to be quite honest. He's rough. He's rough. Don't give up. No, I'm not giving up. Don't you worry. Why did I just save? Uh, let's buy a couple more bagels, because it seems like those are kind of useful. Yeah, we'll buy one. Right, uh, just one, though. I think we'll just buy the one. Okay, here we go. Spammed in. And his fountain. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, uh, let's go ahead and use the tension bit, which raises our toilet paper to 23, 32%. Good, and this one's easy. This is literally Space Invaders. Okay, we'll slip those ones, and we'll uh, attack these ones, and these ones can go down as well. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and do the X slash on him. Boom, boom! Good. And what's next? The twat one. Sorry, twit one. I keep forgetting what I'm naming these attacks. Boop. 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 Good. Wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and do the X slash again if we can. We can. Wonderful. I never did that boss last time. Uh, Juju, this is my first time too. All right, we did the X slash. Our toilet paper's at 3%. <sighs> and now we are fighting his soul again, which is really not actually a hard one if you just kind of like stay out of the line of fire. Which I know is easier said than done, given how frequent friendly fire is, but, you know, that is what it is. There we go. We took out a soul. I bet that's going to do bonus damage. Let's go ahead and attack him. He's at 74 HP, which is pretty good. We've gone ahead and attacked him, 224. He's not hit us once. I think, however, in saying that, we may have just jinxed it. <laughs> Little bit of a whoopsie. Okay, peepees. Let's attack the peepees. Good, and we'll just fire along here, and this one, oh, we almost got hit by that one. And this one right here, good, and this one right here, and that one. We gotta, like, kind of catch them as they come up. We still haven't been hit. That's pretty crazy, actually. We still haven't been hit. Uh, let's go ahead and do the X slash. He's got 70% health. Boom, boom. Good. And now we're at this uh, kind of a little bit frustrating phase. But as long as we kind of, like, stay out of the line of sight of his Wi-Fi, we're actually in a pretty good place. We almost got hit by that last one, too, but we didn't. Uh, let's go ahead, and I think base attack would be a really, really good. Boom. 
So this next one is the one we really struggle with. It's the one with the faces. Okay. We are going to go ahead and just fire away at his mouth because it's probably the biggest issue that we face. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to hit any of those ones. Okay. We took out his mouth, which is pretty good. Uh, we only took one hit too. So let's go ahead and just do a basic fight. He's at half HP, by the way. Duck! Oh, almost got the crit. Okay. I was a little too trusting with the peepees. Uh, yeah, this is significantly harder. Okay, second phase has absolutely zero chill. Let's see. Oh, we took one. That's a shame. And as long as we can get a soul, we got a soul. Ooh. There is no audience. I knew it. He's schizophrenic. We got him below half health. Nice. Where did you find that boss? He was really hard to find, actually. I had to follow a guide to get him to spawn. I don't think you could find him naturally, to be honest. All right, let's go ahead and do an X slash. Boom, boom. We probably could have healed. Probably would have been a good idea. Uh, I forgot to read his... Um... Oh! I forgot to read his dialogue. Okay, good. Whoa! This is hectic. But not undoable. It's not undoable. All right, let's go ahead and use the X Slash. He's got 35% health. In the next turn, we are going to use health regeneration. Boom. Double hit. Excellent. You think making frozen chicken with your side chick is gonna let you drink up that sweet, sweet freedom sauce? See, that's weird as well. Why everybody keeps referencing uh, about how trapped we are. Because it doesn't, it's really, it's strange, isn't it? It seems like it's got something to do with the light world. But it doesn't really seem to have anything to do with the game we see ourselves. All right, let's go ahead and use a CD bagel. It's probably going to be the best option to refill our health up to 125 out of 160. Well, you're pissed right, but don't blame me when you're crying in a broken home wishing you let your old pal Spanton kill you. What? It's for me? Oh, that's new. Ooh. I think that that was God. I think God is pissed off with him. People who live in the dark world can't go back in the light world. They'll turn into statues. Uh, yeah, I fully disagree with that completely. Um, I feel like the dark world is literally just an imagination land for all of the kids that are actually playing together in the light world. I don't think any of the dark world has actually happened at all, and nothing I have seen has uh, suggested anything other than that. Instead, it's actually supported the fact that nothing's actually happened. I feel like the dark world is literally just... It's delving into the minds of uh, one or two of the kids that we're playing with and we're kind of dealing with the traumas associated with their lives. The first chapter was Susie, this chapter seems to be Noelle, and probably also Birdly at the same time. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and use our double slash on him. He's got 20% HP, he's almost down. Boom, 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 this place becomes your tomb. Bampton? My esteemed customer, I see you're attempting to deplete my HP! I'll admit you've got some guts, kid! But in a one-for-one -one battle, Neo never loses! It's time for a little blue light speasel! Spam to Neo's attack drops, spam to Neo's defense rose greatly. Didn't you know Neo is famous for its high defense? Now enjoy the fireworks, kid! Oh, thanks! Thanks for the fireworks, I love that! Spam to Neo's defense is towering. Uh, there's a, there's a Relsi here. We can use a Relsi here. That's an interesting theory. It, it is an interesting theory, isn't it? No one else, not only do people not agree with this, but there's no evidence to suggest that it's not the case. It's only really supported by everything we see. And everyone I tell this to either tells me to shut up or is like, hmm, weird, an original thought. That's not what the internet is, is for. It's not, it's, it's, you never see that on the internet. So uh, I'm sticking by it. What is this, by the way? With this over here, the Relsi icon under the axe. Is that a thing? It's Relsi's our imaginary friend, isn't he? That, that was my theory. Chris called for help, but nobody came. What? You're calling friends? You think you can beat me with your friend's magic? Go ahead, kid. Call all you want. No one will ever pick up. Okay. Oh, we actually took that. 10 damage. That's, that's all. <laughs> Keep calling for help. Yeah, I, I feel like that's something, right? That's something we have to do. Chris called for help, but nobody came. Go ahead and scream into the receiver. The voice runs out eventually. Your voice 
their voice until you realize you are all alone. Okay. Oh, we took that one, unfortunately. Okay. Spamton Neo's defense is still towering. Let's go ahead and call Susie, who may actually come. Chris called for help, but nobody came. There will be no more miracles. No more magic. Well, okay. The miracles thing supports my Jesus theory with Noel. You lost it when you tried to see too far. You lost it. Ah, oh, okay. All right, good. Let's go ahead and call Susie again. Chris called for help, but nobody came. You make me sick, muttering your lost friend's names at the bottom of a dumpster. No one's going to help you. Get that through your beautiful head, you little worm. But nobody came as a reference to Undertale's genocide route. Cool. That's a game theory. Hope Matt Pat comes back to game theory. He's actually uh, still on GT Live. He's just um, doing videos with his staff members. I've made a couple myself. They are hard to make, though. They take hours and hours to script alone, and then the recording is another maybe five hours or so. Editing, 10 to 15 hours. So I'd be looking at maybe 25 to 30 hours for a game theory, which is how long they've taken me before, which is why I'm... I'm just saying them across the playthroughs that I do because it saves so much time and I can get all of these noisy thoughts that I have out of my head in a timely fashion. Okay, uh, let's go and call Noel. Noel should come. I feel like Noel should come. You whispered Noel's name. Her? You're still trying to use her? Ha 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 ha! You think she can hear you now, muttering her name? What's she gonna do? Make me an ice cream? Yes, but she represents Jesus. Hey, is it cold in here or is it just me? And I still think Spamton is an angel. Oh, also his uh, name is an anagram for Stop Man. Cool, huh? But well, that's a lot of damage. That's us. That's us. That's us, the player. That that that's us. Not Chris. Uh, huh? Birdly's alarm? A dream? It was really just a... Susie? Susie, what are you doing here? Uh, you invited us to study, remember? Oh, right, I did, didn't I? Huh? Uh, you're in a good mood. Did you, uh, have a good dream? It was a nightmare. Oh. I'm just happy I woke up. The end was nice, though. What happened? Oh, well, well um... Oh, hey, Birdly, time to get up and go! Birdly? Gosh, you've been studying too much, Birdly. Honestly, you deserve a little rest, you know. Sweet dreams. What are you doing? You don't have a tail, do you, Susie? Uh, huh? No way, of course not! Really? That's great! That was weird, Chris. Somehow it doesn't feel like we just saved the world. Chris, hey, wait a second, Chris! We... we just actually saved the world, didn't we? Damn, we really are heroes! And no one even knows! Guess it's better that way though, right? People would freak out if they knew the world's in danger. Though, kinda sucks Noel has to forget, too. Whatever, let's get out of here. Uh... There doesn't seem to be a way. Okay. Okay! Okay, Spamton wants to be an angel because he wants to go to heaven. I think he's already from heaven. Uh, there's someone in the inside of him named Mike. We already found that in the last playthrough that I did in uh, Deltarune. And on top of that, there's also the puppet, and there's the thing that's possessing Mike and the puppet. I think the thing that's possessing Mike and the puppet... Actually, I, I, I don't necessarily have a definitive answer, but I think it's something demonic or angelic. I think Mike on the inside is actually a person 
being possessed by the Archangel Michael, who's supposed to be the fist of God. So he's, he's probably a, a fallen angel of some sort. Are you thinking you're theory, aren't you, buddy? No, I'm not, actually. Um, still, again, there's, there's nothing to say that anything actually happened above ground. Birdly could either still be asleep or Noel killed him. Right? Noel is under a lot of psychological stress, and that is, again, what I think all of these chapters represent. Birdly is dead. He's dead. It's confirmed. We, we see his corpse. It's, it's confirmed. That's what's up. Okay, so we, we know Birdly is dead because we have a funeral for him or, like, there's some kind of reference to Birdly being dead, right? That's, that's why we're all saying this. That's why we're saying Birdly's dead. It's, be, it's because there's, there's, like, a grave or something? Yeah? Someone confirm this. Someone confirm that. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. We won't know until chapter three, guys. Oh, so it's just, it's just hearsay. You guys are literally just giving me hearsay and speculation. Okay, that's not how I create these theories. My theory is unique because I don't do that. Right? I use the evidence that's given to us. We still don't know if Birdley's asleep. That's the thing. We, we don't know if he's awake. We don't know if he's dead. We don't know if he's pretending to be asleep uh, because Noel offended him. We don't know if Noel killed him while we were kind of like standing outside this room right here. Because Noel is under a lot of psychological stress. Uh, can we read about any hentai? It's a weekly cartoon review. Just looking at cartoon criticism is sapping you <laughs> your energy rapidly. I love that. People are just assuming he's dead. Some people do, some people don't. He's probably in a coma. I, hello, Hypercake. Um, honestly, I think, I think he's not dead. I don't think he's dead. He wakes up normally, but when you kill him in the dark world, he dies. Again, do we know this? Do you actually see his body in the real world? Dog shark. Are we, is this hearsay or, and speculation, or do you actually have evidence to support your claim? Because that's what we're looking for. We are literally playing this game to find evidence. We're trying to break open the story. And so far, all I'm finding is religious references above the game. I'm finding religious references in the light world of the game and also a lot of psychological trauma in the light world of the game. And I'm also seeing in the dark world of the game, I'm seeing all of the stories are founded on two exclusive things, and that's our specific surroundings and also the psych psychological condition of all of the children who are at there at the time. That is all I'm seeing. That, that is literally it. I, I don't find any other evidence other than that. Man, it got late, didn't it? Guess you should go home, huh? All right. You don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by, your, by yourself, huh? Well, if you're ever going to make me, I guess... Let's go! Do you believe the Dark World is a dream? No, I don't. I don't believe that the Dark World is a dream at all. I believe that uh, all of these, what I assume to be children, are playing together, and I think that the Dark World is just the actualization of their imagination, because we are playing it from the perspective of Chris, who is a human child, and she is there. She is actually playing these games. Uh, we as the player have to see everything through her lens, and children have active imagination. So that's, that's what I think the Dark Worlds are. And every time... I go into our item right here, I see all of the things that show us, like, these darkeners that everybody keeps talking about. Like, the ball of junk, that's, that represents the first world and also a lot of Lancer. The cards represents rules card. The glass, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to... Where the hell do we get the glass? It's supposed to represent the queen. It's just representative. It's only representative. That's all I'm seeing here. The thing is, there is a lot of lore outside of the game. Now, are you certain about that? Because Undertale and Deltarune, two completely separate universes. Toby Fox has said this a bunch of different times quite publicly. And uh, Undertale apparently um, was conceived after Deltarune as well, just to see if Toby Fox could even make a game. I know a lot about Toby Fox. Don't know a lot about the story of this game, somehow. I buried my head. You think it's true? You really think there's... What, you chicken? I ain't afraid. Only kids believe that stuff. We are in their class, which means we are kids, right? Why do they wake up like they're sleeping after playing a game? Have you ever seen a kid have a nap? 
An interesting thing that people think is the light and dark worlds are connected because if you acquit Noel's watch and proceed with Snowgrave route, she'll comment on and get really square, scared. Ah, he's dead in the dark world after all that because of that he is uh, he either died metal. She'll comment on it in the light world, by the way. Okay, we are going to go back and see Noel in the hospital. We know where her dad is and we're going to uh, finish off all of that. But again, this right here is very important, right? Because I feel like there's also something religious going on in the light world that we're a part of. We live with a family of goats who classically represent demons or um, demon rituals. These guys, scared of this bunker, they named us right here and only kids are afraid of this place. We are in their class. We are a kid. You're going to be a weenie like Chris? So... <sighs> You want to say that again? Something happened with this bunker and Chris, and I am thinking, because there are no other humans in this universe that we have seen, and we're not going to see any other humans in this universe at all because of this theory, Chris was possibly conceived by some kind of satanic ritual in that bunker. I feel like that is pointing to us being the Antichrist. How do they trick Noel into thinking it's a dream if they were playing a game? They had a nap. Again, they had a nap. <laughs> they were sleeping at some point. Children, children nap. Children nap when they play games. It happens. What's the deal with this place? We know. Well, you don't got to talk about it. Okay. We know what the deal with this place is. We've been in there, which is why I think that uh, there's some kind of religious thing in there. Right? There's got to be. It's locked. Okay. So. Well, yeah, by the way, yeah, with this theory, I also theorize that we are not going to see what's inside of that bunker, either at all or until we finish the eighth chapter. It will be, it will be like either a MacGuffin or it's going to be... Um, a very subtle lore drop right at the end of the development of this game where everything just gets polished off. Also, this guy right here, the pastor of the church, keeps talking about his father dying. You know, pastors always say that father is God. There is a scientist main, named Gaster, first introduced in Undertale and is believed to be the voice wanting to create your voice at the beginning of the chapter in the bunker, maybe his lab. Maybe. Maybe. Again, I don't know. <laughs> There's no evidence to support it. All I know is that Gaster kind of like exists in his own little ARG around the internet. This guy right here, this guy right here runs the church. He's about to talk about his dead father, who is also a genius. And I also think if we uh, talk about, I don't even know who Gerson is. Which one was it? It was Gerson. It's been a few years since my father passed on. Okay, so I feel like he's talking about Toby Fox. Fans of his famous book series, Lord of the Hammer, never heard of it. We still receive condolences from them until just recently. A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Chris, is it, a, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher and difficult for Miss Elfies as his replacement. Let us pray that the angel... Okay, so a kind of also supposed to be a teacher of some sort. Didn't he say something different last time we played this? Sansa's and Deltarun, so Undertale and Deltarun probably connected. No, they're not. Uh, quite publicly, Toby Fox have come out saying frequently that they are their own different universes with re recurring characters. That's it. That's all they've got in common. Uh, where he created Chris says the vessel and told the human soul. Chris isn't the vessel. The vessel is the thing we uh, created at the start of the game, and it's not what we use ever. Uh, theories, there's theories that he's the knight, the pastor. Oh, uh, maybe. Actually, that's, that's not a bad idea, but the knight also creates the fountains, right? So it makes more sense that Chris is the knight. Why is Susie considered about Noel finding out about there be some secret identities if it's just a game? It's not just a game! When a solo developer makes a game, they pour their heart and soul into it. When they individually create every single pixel you experience, there is, there is intent behind every single choice that a solo developer makes. And even though Toby Fox has a team now, he planned this game out way, almost a decade ago. Maybe even over a decade ago. There's a lot of evidence that Gaster somehow created a program that connects our reality with Deltarune. Okay, so our reality also has a lot of religious connotations. Half the world still believe that there's some kind of afterlife, right? So why would that not be a thing? Risk is the soul on Chris. 
Frisk. Oh, also, um, Chris is an anagram of Risk, which is pretty funny because uh, she's the only one that's actually getting hit. And all of that damage is distributed around everybody else. Quite funny. Um, so, we want to go find Noelle, don't we? She's in the hospital. Here. Let's polish this off before we start arguing about um, what the internet thinks is in their head cannon and what, and what I believe is on the screen. Silver Drake, oh, that's a new one. Okay. What's the plan? Maybe we could... Okay, she's going to play the game, right? Ice Shock? Ice on the Ice Palace boss? This is different. Don't you want to try Fire Shock or something? Huh? Yeah, you're right. Here, how about letting me control for a bit? No, I'll control it myself. I'd like you to be a controller, Hawk, honey. You feeling all right? Huh? Me? Of course, I'm fine, Dad. I just... I fell asleep in the library and... You know, just had a weird dream, huh? Well... I know that bird brain had put you to sleep. Ha! <laughs> What'd he do? Start lecturing you on his theorem? So we know that Noelle doesn't actually like Bertley that much, otherwise she wouldn't be complaining it to, about it to her father, right? Of the inequality in children's fighter games? Oh, no, no, he... He fell asleep, too. Wow, even put himself to sleep? Ha! <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess so. Well, sounds like... You two have been hitting the books too hard. When you go home and hibernate, I'll see you tomorrow at church. Dad, are you gonna be okay to go? Of course. You take it easy, honey. Okay then. Yeah, I'll go home and rest. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Chris? Chris, what are you doing here? Well, if I know. <laughs> Susie? Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh... Have. Damn, they've got the same voice. Cool, I think I have to go now! Susie, huh? Yeah. Lay a finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. Well, kinda kidding. Savage. That is absolutely savage. Hey, Susie, mind if I have a word with you for a sec? Uh. Guess I'll be a sec, Chris. That didn't happen in the last playthrough either, did it? Frisk is the soul and Chris. Frisk is the human you play as an Undertale. Okay, that's completely separate. Uh, who also has a red heart, but it is known that humans have different colored souls. Yeah, Undertale is a completely separate game. I don't know why you guys are conflating both of them together. In 2015, Deltarune website only had a secret message. It was in wi windings. You mean wingdings. In font Gaster Talks, the message was Gaster talking about the legend. You should check that. I will do it once I play the games. Even so, it was so real. I can't get it out of my head, my, my mind. That voice telling me what to do. A voice unlike Chris's. A terrifying voice. Chris, recently there's been something different about them. Why hasn't anyone else noticed it? I have to figure it out. Why Chris is acting so strange? Why they keep coming? To the hospital. See your father. Oh, so we're playing as uh, Noel right now, right? It is to see you. It's to see Noel. Oh, Chris. How long have you been standing there? You, you. Uh, you really scared me. You know. Keep it together, Noel. There's nothing to be afraid of. After all, a dream is just a dream, right? Then, then why did their voice just now sound so terrifying? Okay, I know, I know the, the dream thing. I know everybody's accepting the dream thing at face value. Has anyone considered it's a premonition, a religious premonition? This is the part where she gets freaked out if you're wearing her watch. Well, I mean, she would be wearing it in the library. I, I don't see why we would have just like said, hey, put it on me. Right? Besides, if we were the Antichrist, we would have the power to, um... Oh, there's a word for it. You, you command somebody and they do it. It's not hypnotism. It's, it's, it's more of a, um, a, suggesti a suggestive... A suggestive possession. That quite famously, the, the Antichrist is supposed to be known for. I could say because it wasn't a dream, but I, if it is a premonition, that's still kind of a dream. 
All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it because it wasn't a dream. Hey, Chris, let's beat it already. Man, you keep trying to tell me about Noel, like uh, her favorite things, places she'd like to go. No idea what the hell that was about. So, uh, the hell were you two doing? Uh, oh, um, nothing, Susie. I was, I was just about to go home. Um, see you. Guess she's afraid of me again, huh? Man, would be nice. She knew everything that happened was real. Huh, Chris? Come on, try to be a little more enthusiastic. <laughs> hmm. It was not a dream? Someone else is the Antichrist, but you need more pieces to solve the puzzle. How do you know this? How do you, do you have evidence to support this? All right, I'm heading to sleep. I'm looking forward to watching more. All of this will go up on YouTube. Don't worry, you won't miss a beat. Uh, what was in here? So there was this girl who we never really talked to. And... What are the other things that we should check off while we're here? Uh, Elphys uh, has his bike busted. Don't particularly care about him, though. We can release everybody from here. There's the annoying dog right there. I feel like if we release him, something will happen later. The bunker might open if we release him here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm skipping all of this. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, we're not going to interact with Alfie, so don't particularly give two hoots about him. There's the library. <laughs> Just funny. Okay, no reason to go back in there. Is that so? Uh, there's this guy, this random guy, who is apparently also a kid. I'm not seeing anything else that we would necessarily give two hoots about if we explored further, right? Oh, wait, we need to go to the other Dark World, our kind of like little secret play area, and we need to put all those things back in there, don't we? Maybe like here? Managed to cram everything into the closet, even the rug. Okay, do we have all of our stuff? Yes. You look through the glass. For some strange reason, for just a brief moment, you thought you saw Susie glaring at you coldly. But when you move the glass away, you see her looking at you, smiling and making a rude gesture. Huh. That's strange, isn't it? That's very strange. That's very strange. What about the ball of junk? You looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. Okay. Uh, this one here is supposed to represent rules card. You held the cards. They felt flimsy between your fingers. Okay. What about the box of heart candy? Whoa, Chris, where the hell did you get that? Someone gave it to you. Ha, huh. yeah, right. You stole it, didn't you? Well, come on, let's eat it and hide the evidence. You and Susie shared the heart-shaped box of candies. Both of you had a feeling in your chest. Ow, my stomach. That you shouldn't have eaten all of it. Okay. Yes, I have evidence. It's the Gaster. The only character related to the 666. All his stats are 666. Trapped in a place called the Depths and... Okay, is that in Deltarune? Is that actually a thing in Deltarune? Or is it Undertale? Or is it like the AIG in the background? Also, I'm going to point out that 666 is the number of the beast, the beast being Baphomet. It was kind of like a generalization of all kind of demonic presence in the world. So again, more religious connotations right there. Okay. Don't really think there's a lot else we... Oh, that's right. we got to go down here into the... to the dark world, right? So we ate the box of chocolates. All right, here's the queen. Where is everybody, she's going to say. So this is your castle town. It's magnificent. The population density is so wonderfully low. <laughs> I bet the Swatchlings will love this. Where are the Swatchlings, anyhow? Or task manager? Or even regular task? Dead. I killed him. Hey, Chris, where is everyone else? Don't worry, Queen, I'm here. Me and only me. Well, I guess I'll go to my room. Uh -huh. Huh, that was weird, wasn't it? The depths is the place from the start of Deltarune where you create the vessel. How does everybody know this? I didn't see anything like that. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to, but you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? Don't worry, buddy old pal. There's actually very, very few people we can talk to. What is this? Something is glimmering in the hole. Look inside. Yes, please. 
You reached inside and found something alongside a strange piece of glass. Devil's knife was added to your weapons. Oh, we had it the whole time. No. Oh, that hurts so bad. All right, so uh, we saved almost nobody, it seems. There's this guy with the shoes over here. What's he got to say? This place is a great deal. All comes with new customers. Want a free sample? Just $4.99 to try a bite of these clothes. Oh, no, thank you. Gross. Gross. This is a boxing dude. Uh, it seems to be locked. It may never open again. Strange. Trained at the party dojo? Ha. Ah, we'll make your own dojo. For introverts. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I've got. That's actually what I've got. I've got a dojo for introverts. All right, so... Is there really anything else to see? We could go to the party dojo and do all of the fights, but I don't really think it's necessary, is it? The shop here with the cat... Stitch Cat as well, cafe. There's the bakery. Surprisingly, without the uh, racist Italian guy, Lancer is definitely alive and... Oh, the racist Italian guy's right here. Mamma Viva! I was rejected from the cafe! What can I do now? Prize. Mamma Mia! You returned my gig to me. Moi, I will never forget your kindness. Every day I will give you a dizzy flavors. Every day the flavors will become stronger. That's the power of Baker's arms. You got the spin cake. Wonderful. Okay, so he does exist. When you finish Undertale, you should check videos about Delta Room made by Molly Stars. She explains a lot of the things I'm talking about. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm absolutely not going to look at a single YouTube video until I've experienced the entire franchise for myself. Have you not been paying attention? I'm theory crafting. I'm, I'm not gonna use other people's theories to subsidize my own. That's so lazy. That's such a lazy thing to do. I'm not doing that whatsoever. After a long day, you have returned to the castle town. Okay, I'll go ahead and save right here. I am a doer, not a viewer. That is why I am in front of the camera, uh, quite frankly, to be honest. I'm not gonna sit down and do like a heap of research on something that I can figure out for myself. Even if it's wrong or unpopular, at least I tried. That's the thing. That's the thing that's most important to me. I tried. Uh, this bin right here, what the hell is this deal? Oh boy, oh boy, I'm trashy! Haha, <laughs> I bet I'm gonna make a lot of new friends. Yeah, I'll... I'll bet. <laughs> How about a strawberry cake as a room warning gift? There's a slice of cake in your fridge, Susie. But it's not cold from fresh! Okay, fine. So, there isn't actually anything else, right? We've, we've basically finished the game. At this point, there's no one to talk to here. I don't think the Stitch is going to talk to us about anything, right? What is that? It appears you have a Shadow Crystal. Unfortunately, I believe that you are missing one from your previous adventures. Damn it! But, are you sure? Are you sure you didn't defeat that clown? Perhaps you just haven't remembered that you had yet. That's right, as long as you ever defeated that enemy in the past, then perhaps even now that crystal might turn up somewhere close, perhaps. Haha! <laughs> Another Shadow Crystal! You found it! You can't see it, so perhaps you didn't notice. Didn't you defeat him? Didn't you defeat Jevil? Here, I'll take that crystal. Now you have collected two of them. Huzzah! That made no sense to me. You have collected two shadow crystals, but don't let down your guard. I feel your next opponent may be... Hmm. In reality, it may be impossible to win. Unless you use the power of the shadow mantle. Here, it may look like an old scrap of cloth, but... Eh? I can't find it. Did someone take it? <laughs> well now, there goes your one chance of victory. That is sus. That is super sus. The shadow cape. Why does that sound familiar? Didn't we already get it? What are you doing after this? Or when you win, is it over? <sighs> I'd say. I'd say, but there is one thing that I know I'm going to do, and that is end this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Delta Rune Chapter 2, and right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And down in the description of this soon to go out video, you are going to find a link to my Discord where you can chat to me and my community personally. And until I make the next episode, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!